This is Josh Baiser from GameWisdom.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any suggestions for games you'd like me to look at here on the channel, please let me know. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this first look at Too Dark. This is being streamed, of course, from my Twitch channel, GW Baiser. And this is a very special game. This is the latest survival horror style game from Frederick Renau, who is the original creator behind Alone in the Dark. The game that has been billed or is credited as the first 3D survival horror game. And for tonight, we're going to take a look at it. I played a little bit about a little bit of this before, and it's an interesting idea, but I'm still not sure if I'm sold on it just yet. But we're going to get into it. I'm going to restart so we can see things from the beginning. It was my first weekend with the family in quite a while. That university case was driving me <laughs> mad. I tried to relax. So this is the opening here that's going to kind of lead us into what's happening. While things are moving along, this game is going to be a stealth horror title, or stealth horror design. We'll have to make use of the dark and trying to take out enemies from the shadows instead of trying to get into direct confrontation. And yes, you haven't guessed this is going to be an M rated game. so long ago now. Sometimes I forget. One thing that I've noticed just from playing the game for a few minutes is that the controls are a little bit weird. Alright, so I'm going to be using the keyboard here. So, we basically wander around. Now, in order to save the game, we combine the pack of cigarettes with the lighter. Alright, so let's get into the house. Like, it sometimes it doesn't seem to register when I'm hitting things from what I've seen. Uh, once I'm going to raise the sound just a little bit more now that we're past the creepy music from the start. Again, uh, just very uh, basic kind of adventure game design. So we want to get more bullets. We open that up. And there we go. 
or a portman here kind of acts as like the hub of the game. So if we want to see better, we can use the flashlight. But of course the flashlight uh, illuminates more and makes us stand out. This is a little... Oops, shot the TV, that's good. There you go. Here's like a little cutscene. <laughs> I know, old Gore, there's that. Mm. So the general story is that this town gloomy ditch seems to be like home to child abduct abductors, rapists, and all manner of criminals. And we've taken it upon ourselves to try and find our missing children and take these guys out. <laughs> All right. So that gives us our first level. So right now, when the UI turns blue like this, it means that we are hidden. Mm -hmm. Ow. Again, it's always a little bit hard. Sometimes interact with some of these things. You think you're so smart? I'm not sure what my health is either. <laughs> Take that. Again, we want to save, we simply use our cigarettes there. So this is like kind of like our collection of lore. And we'll find more as time goes on, as you can see. Hmm? Oh, he's making that noise again. Hmm? And we use candy to direct children. I guess this will fill up with more stuff as time goes on. There we go. He certainly loves making that noise. And I can't control the cameras, it is this isometric view. Alright, so let's move to our first level, the Gloomy Ditch Amusement Park. Kids going missing in Gloomy Ditch. Yeah, what else is new? So what are you doing here, Smith? What brings you to the filthiest part of this godforsaken town? Well, anyway, you needed a bit of fresh air. <laughs> Hey, get back here. Hmm? All right, so I'm hidden right now. Hmm? Oh, there's someone in this box. Hmm? 
Uh, so there's our boss. I guess the clown will be there. Okay. So we silence them by hitting space and we call them by pressing C. <laughs> and we can use candy as well. The more times I hit come on, it makes them like yell. Now we need a crowbar, I think, to get out of there. To get him out, at least. Come on. Can we grab him. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, that's good. I just punched a little girl. That's that's great. There are more kids. We got a stick. Yeah, that doesn't look creepy at all. Alright, so once I get the crowbar, I can pop open those boxes. those batteries. What was that? <laughs> Alright, so now we... Uh, oh, that's good, El Gore. You can actually shoot the kids by accident. So now I'm gonna save. Just like Alien Isolation, I have to wait for him to finish his little smoke, where I have to wait for the action to finish before it will count. And yes, I can fall into those pits and die. Take that. I just punched a mouse, or a rat. Haha. So I can have the flashlight and the stick equipped for my weapons. Again, right now we are looking for a crowbar. Again, you can see the sound whenever something happens. Lever must start the ghost train, but there's no energy. So he, whoever that guy is, he is busy working. Yeah. Oh, jeez! What the hell hit me? That was weird. I'm not sure what killed me, though. Hmm? There's something right there. But I'm not sure what it was. Those are the breakers, I think. Now, there should be a crowbar. <laughs> There's more candy. See, it's painting a pretty gloomy picture. Now, where is the exit? Or, oh, I'm sorry. So, what killed me? 
Anyone have any idea what got me there? Because I'm not sure. So that's going to open that up. So we can get into a little bit of fight here. So now that he's down, I can drag him, I believe. Probably got to put the flashlight back on. So there's the crowbar. Damn, evil spiders. <laughs> that scare anyone, by the way? Alright, so that opens that up. I'm sure you can use that as a way of killing enemies. I know there are environmental kills in this. Yeah, I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to... Are these traps on the ground? Thirty-eight special. Oh, we got people chasing. And again, there is an achievement for getting through an entire level without needing to save. Death traps are a little bit annoying in this. Right, I'm gonna step on this see if it kills me. Oh. That answers that question now, doesn't it? <laughs> I wonder if I can trick them into walking into that. I'm not a fan of how it's basically forcing you to make use of your light, because you're not gonna see this stuff otherwise. There's a hole. Candy. And again, as long as I'm in the dark, they shouldn't be able to see me. But I'm not sure what their actual, like, range is. Or their vision range. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, the answer is that one. And the levels are set, so it's not like we are going to be finding random things each time we play. They're running around. Alright. So combat is definitely skewed against the player, as you can see. Let's not step on that trap. So we're going to have to do this the sneaky way. Be 
be running around. That's a death trap right there. Okay. What the hell? Okay then. I guess we have a clown fight on our hands. Hmm. I wonder if we have to shoot our way in. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to make out where we're looking. Let's grab the gun. Uh oh. Hey. you. Attack them, lions. Oh. Well, that's great. We'll restart and see if we can actually save those kids instead of getting eaten by lions. I got an achievement, too, for doing that. Is there any way to hit that without needing the gun? Oh, here he comes. UI is a little bit annoying, I think, to make use of. It's all basically drag in place. Oh. Alright, that takes care of that. Oh. Apparently walking the fire is bad. How do I drop him? Oh. Alright, now he's gotta get out of here. Oh, I hope they don't walk into any death traps. And we can throw candy as well to them. Ooh. I 
think this is a good time to save so we don't get our kids in by lions. game seems to slow down a little bit when I'm fighting sometimes. Hmm. Really hope this is the right way. saving. Kids, let's go. Why is he not coming? Uh oh. So that gets them to wait. <laughs> he should now follow. Really, you have to start crying while we're trying to navigate? Yeah, the inventory could probably be a little bit better. Either have a shortcut for ammo. Oh. Oh, this is great. are quite long too. It's also weird that he heard me through the wall. I hate to say, but the graphics really aren't anything to write home about there. This looks like very basic 3D to me. Alright, let's get all the kids together. You guys stay here, I have to go beat up some people with a giant baseball bat. gonna deal with all these guys. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Like, it would be different if the stealth attack actually would be enough to kill some of these guys. the kid. How am I supposed to fight all these guys all by myself? Yeah, there's some major performance issues just swinging. I wonder why the combat is causing so much lag. are certainly doing damage. But again, how am I supposed to fight these guys? Like, it kind of feels like my options are very limited here. He's gonna spot me, isn't he? Like, this is kind of a problem. I can't walk fast enough to catch up to him. Alright. Why is stealth not activating? There we go. Time to get our metal gear on. Oh. Oh. Wait, so that time I was strong enough to kill him in one blow. It's gotta be the weapon. Mm. The isometric view is not making things easier in terms of getting around them. Alright, so I'm gonna try and sneak up on him. Nor is that lag helping. Hmm, what if I can throw the candy? Ugh. I think I'm about to be caught. This is feeling more like stealth escort mission rather than the survival horror or adventure. Like why can't I get a killing blow on this guy? He's right there. See? It's one of those games where it only counts if it's really, really close. Or if you're in the exact position. Again, I don't know how he heard me. Yeah, this game really doesn't like it when you attack. Alright, 
So I'm gonna go around here and see if we can get a kill. Alright, so that's good. <laughs> I'm a one man a uh, bat wielding ninja. Turn around. Like, if my walk was a little bit quicker, it would be alright. There we go. Whew. Alright, so we got everybody. Alright, so that's good. There is no, we'll know how many kids we can have walking. What the? What? What? It's because of the body? Oh, that's right. There's E lets you. Drag people like that. All right, kids, let's go. Uh, where are my keys? There they are. All right, we've almost gotten this taken care of. You kids, wait there. Let's get the hell out of here. I got all the evidence. Hmm. Old children saved. Wait, there's candles for us to collect? No victims. Alright, how the hell was I supposed to get through that last part without them spawning? I guess we'll have to really... Oh, that's some very annoying stealth right there. What I really need now is a long, hot shower. Look at this place. Alright, let me do a time that check here. I don't know how long that actually no took puke. us. Damn. How many kids did they manage to Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, share with your friends. It always helps out. For daily posts on all manner of game design and industry topics, check out game-wisdom.com. To support the site and everything that I do, be sure to check out the Patreon campaign. If we can hit goals, it will mean more content for everyone to enjoy, and I'll be able to support myself and my household. If you want to follow me, you can find me on Twitter at GWBicer for updates throughout the day and random thoughts from me. And lastly, you can find me on Twitch right over there at GWBicer for daily streams most nights around 10 Eastern. Thanks again for watching the video, and be sure to check out more great content coming to the Game Wisdom channel real soon.